My name is Sophie Nicole, and this is Fire the Dragon. Our beverage of the day is the Good Doctor, and this is episode 14. We're going into Alpine Ridge. Uh, let's get right down to it. Now these episodes, these recordings that I'm making, aren't really meant as definitive how-to guides for how to beat Spyro. Here's how you beat Alpine Ridge. Here's the techniques to beat Blowhard. That's, that's not what this is for. Uh, although I realize probably if this series gets in any way popular, a lot of people are going to treat it that way, which is fine. Um, and is partly why I always highlight, well, that was a mistake, don't do that, because, like, people are probably gonna, like, look at this and be like, oh, so this is how you do this. Well, no, if I, if I do something stupid, I'm gonna let you know, hey, that was stupid. Um, but no, this is only really meant to be, uh, just, like, a Here's me playing the game, sort of. Like, I'm just having fun here, you know. Talking to a basically imaginary... Oh, Jesus, that didn't work. Talking to a basically imaginary uh, audience while playing the video game. Because that's fun, you know. Where did you go? Or are you up there? Oh, I thought there was a guy up here. Hello. Um, but it may be apparent that most or all of the games, as of this recording, that I've actually recorded are games that I have a lot of experience in. There's a couple reasons for that. The reasons for that are because I like playing the games that I have a lot of experience in, which is why I have a lot of experience in them. And I like sharing the things I like. But also there's the factor of, you know, I basically live in poverty, so I can't afford to buy the newest, greatest, latest video game and just, like, record it. Um, although I do have several new games that I haven't played before. Well, new games in the sense that they're new to me, that I haven't played before, that I'm considering doing recordings for. Uh, uh, I, I participated in the beta, the September 25th and 26th beta weekend for Icarus uh, this weekend, and I considered doing recordings for that, but uh, at least one uh, YouTuber that I really like was doing exactly that. And has been, and I didn't want to step on his toes, because Cap is a great guy. Zane! Oh, Spyro! You're not afraid of those big, noisy, gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not! Oh, good. I didn't think so. Levitating like a jackass just to show off. Uh, yeah, go on. Uh, if you like Ark, or Icarus, or um, especially Seven Days to Die, go look up Cap00, that's C-A-P-P, -P, uh, Charlie Alpha Papa Papa 00. Uh, he started off doing Minecraft videos, and that's where I started watching his videos, back when he was doing Minecraft. Um, but he does mostly Seven Days to Die now, and occasionally does other things like ARC, and uh, he's been doing Icarus beta recordings also. 
uh, the last several weeks. And, uh, he's a great guy. You should, you should, uh, if you enjoy watching people play video games and chit chat with the imaginary audience for a while, uh, that's the, aha, uh -huh. that's the game that you, or the, the channel you really want to go check out because, uh, he is, as he used to call himself, uh, the everyday gamer. He is, he's an everyday, you know, just, just a guy with a, with Thank a kid you and, for releasing me. and, uh, you know, he has, he, 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 he talks normally and he, he has opinions and, you know, friendly, decent. Uh, I watch every one of his videos, personally. And I have just realized I've spent like five minutes, uh, shilling for, for this other, uh, this other channel that's bigger and better than me. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, you, you can be subscribed to multiple YouTube channels. That, that, that's the thing that happens, so no big deal. Uh, yeah, anyway, oh, Jesus, uh, I didn't see that coming. Um, yeah, the, uh, the level design here is really interesting. Um, lots of areas to fly to and, and you know, little nooks and crannies to go down in. There's the home portal. I like Magic Crafters, and part of that, to be fair, is just that I like magic. Xander. Great work, Spyro. If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the Magic Crafters world. So, of course, that notification sound that you just heard was somebody messaging me in Trillium. Probably serial because uh, it's about that time. Uh, hello, uh, serial, Miss Lilith. I will be with you shortly. Uh, yeah, I, I enjoy magic. It's one of the reasons I play tabletop fantasy role-playing games because of the magic. I feel like there used to be some kind of like blind blind glide or long glide from here that was that got somewhere and uh I don't see it so I'm not gonna like kill myself trying um where did I go? oh yeah oh, there's over here uh just magic and video games and in books and very careful. And, uh, tabletop games, things like that. Magic's cool. I like magic. Uh, so that might be a contributing factor to Alpine Ridge. Or, uh, Magic Crafters, I mean. Um, a contributing factor to why I like it so much. Okay, I definitely feel like I've missed some things. Uh, 110 gems, a whole ass egg, and a whole ass dragon. It's not down here. People in the video are now, uh, pounding away in the chat. It's over there, you idiot! Go over there! You missed it! It's over there! Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. Just, just be patient. I am a Morat. It's okay. Ah! Right! Okay, I need to get over there from up here. I'm too, so busy shilling for cat that I entirely 
lost track of what I was doing. <laughs> okay. I missed you. Damn. I realized, uh, halfway over that I wasn't aiming for the lower big platform, I was aiming for the narrow spires there. So, let's try that again. There we go. Running start. Stop. And don't do the side to side thing the whole way. Ah! I need the hover. Damn it! I missed being able to hover. Okay. Can I get over there from over there? Ah, uh, I don't think I can actually. I'm going to go through all of my lives getting this. Stop going back and forth, damn it. No! Uh, am I being an idiot? Is there a better way? This is the better way. I think I got it. Oh, damn it! Why? Fuck! This is, this is awful. I don't remember having this much trouble here before. I've had a thought. I'm on the right track. Uh, I will explain my thought when when I get the uh, egg thing here. God damn egg thieves. Ah! You little blue bastard. This one is really... Ah, oh, I got you, you bitch! Okay, and it was just one egg. So my thought was, maybe this leads to uh, an area where I can jump. But actually, looking at it, I think I can reach that from here. So it should be fine. Kill them! Remember that these blue thieves have stolen eggs outside the Magic Crafters world as well. No Don't shit. worry, I'll take care of them. As if I have gone through two? Yeah, two whole ass worlds. Uh home worlds before this. There we go. Okay, so there's a trick to this, you see? Because if you Breathe fire on this, and then, like, stand over here. It's gonna get you, and it's gonna launch you off this platform. There's no room. So you have to light this, go over there, light that, go over there, light that, and then come back. Oh, fuck! And not fuck the whole system. Pops up the tops. That's an achievement uh, for getting all of the firework gem baskets in this uh, in this world. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, I still have 51 gems that I need to find. But why? What have I missed? What have I missed? Let me go back up there and check up there. See if I missed anything in there. Oh! I missed you, for starters. How do I miss you? What the fuck? There's a guy over there that I missed somehow. Yeah, see, I knew there was a guy up there. And there's a whole ass area over there that I didn't go to. How the hell do I get over there? Huh. Well, let's double check the well no, but I'm pretty sure I got everything over there. Okay. How the hell I missed you? Okay, come here. Okay, you weren't supposed to do that. Did he just like was there a glitch earlier? Because I know he wasn't there earlier. I think maybe he glitched out. Okay, so I need to make it over there somehow, or over there. I don't know if I have the altitude for that. Is there a sheep over here? Mm, no, there's not. Okay. Okay. I did have the altitude. You motherfucker. Oh, you think you're so funny. You think you're so funny? I will barbecue you, motherfucker. Aha! Told you. Oh, you, you are too big. Ow. That hurt. That hurt? I already got my, my, uh, my daily sheep ration. Okay, so this one requires some decent timing. There's a sheep over there, but I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time going to get them. Or is this level complete? Yeah! Aha! Level complete! Oh no. Oh, thank fuck. That was close. Whew. Uh, almost didn't make that one. Well then. Let's, uh, let's eat you two. You cannot escape. This is a tiny island. That's level complete, you guys. It only took 19 minutes. I did mention at the start that uh, probably the episodes would get longer as we went. So, you know. Let's go ahead and go back. Look at all that treasure. 3,800 treasure. 3,800 monies. That's actually an interesting question. Do the dragons use the treasure as money or do they just, like, enjoy looking at it? You know, what, what, what's the, what's the economic system in place for the dragons? You know, like, I don't know. Anyway, this has been a wild success, and we're going to go to High Caves next. That, however, 
is for next time. Burn the hidden painting. Good to know. Uh, this has been Spyro the Dragon.